So we have lots of moving pieces. Five kids and only one of her. Carolyn Carter knows being a mom is a busy job and as comes with the times. When I was growing up, you know, we probably stayed home alone when we were 10 and it was no big deal, but now things are different. I am much more cautious with them than my parents were with me. I think we're more aware. And for Carter, that's where technology comes in. My kids' safety is something that is always top of mind. She uses the Find My iPhone app to keep track of her three daughters still living at home. It makes me feel that they're more secure if I can find them easily. Well, here are two products we have the Philip and the Amber Alert. Andrew Chacon with AT&T in Fresno showed us some of the products on the market today. They work off GPS in our network, so uh, similar to a GPS tracking device in your car or step-by-step uh, -step directions for uh, travel. Chacon says Carter is in the majority. More and more parents are looking for ways to keep an eye on their kids even when miles away. It gives you a 360 picture of everything your kids are doing when you're not with them. Tracking options include devices or apps for your phone and range anywhere in price Let's from see. free like the app Carter uses what to more than 200 bucks like this one called Amber Alert GPS. The more you spend, the more features like an alert if your child goes near a registered sex offender. It's just that being comfortable and know how where your loved ones are and I mean that's invaluable. We've never had this before. We've never had a time when parents were able to see so much into their children's lives uh, when they're not directly with them. That's not always a good thing according to Amy Rickman, a professor of child family consumer services at Fresno State. So we have this idea of stranger danger that people are waiting out there for our children and the statistics just don't back that. In fact, Fresno police say there really aren't any statistics because stranger kidnapping cases are so rare. Rickman says right now is a really hard time to be a parent. Work schedules are longer, the economy is harder, and neighbors aren't as close-knit as they used to be. But she says relying on a tracking device for peace of mind is not necessarily the answer. Sometimes too much information is not helpful. Uh, people do need time to explore, to make some mistakes, to be supported to learn and correct those mistakes. Rickman says trust is a big issue here and it needs to start building earlier than you might think. In middle childhood, starting around age seven, uh, seven through 11 is when children are developing a sense of industry or the ability to feel competent in the world. Uh, if they don't feel develop that ability to feel capable and competent, they're more likely to feel inferior and that has some very strong negative repercussions. She says that could mean lowered motivation, interest and academic potential. And that's just within the home. Rickman says there's a whole nother problem when it comes to security. It is technology after all and runs the risk of being hacked. We should be a little more concerned about who we give our children's private information over to. If an application is being given information on where a child is, uh, we don't generally express too much concern about that, but we are giving it away to commercial parties, uh, and that should be a concern that we tend not to think about because we think more about children's stranger danger. Right. It's not that she's opposed to GPS services. Rickman says there just needs to be a limit, and that's something that can only be decided by each family. It starts by just talking to your kids. I don't want them to feel like I'm checking on them, uh, it's mostly for, for me to know that they're safe, they're where they're supposed to be. Carter says she plans to cut off her tracking when the girls go off to college. She hopes by then it won't take an app for her to know her kids are safe. Reporting for CBS 47 Eyewitness News, I'm Julie Musgrave.